Hi, my name is Aaron Gonzalez. I am a SharePoint server MVP from Mexico. And today I want to show you a very, very simple technique to use outside of the My Site web application, the My Task web part, um, in another site collection. Recently, I had this requirement. So we have a project portal site collection where every project has a task list, okay? And they wanted to see all my tasks assigned to a particular user. So if I log in to my project portal, I want to see all the tasks that I have assigned to me. Of course, we advise the customer to use the About Me page and then inside of the About Me page to allow the user to navigate to the task section so he can actually see the multiple sites and lists where he has tasks assigned to. But guess what? Customers said that it was um, complicated for the end user to do three clicks to go here and then go to the About Me page, and then go to the task section. Um, so very, very straightforward approach for dealing with this is just imagine this, what, I, what I'm about to say. Let's use these pages like the old task ASPX page here. And if I click important and upcoming, notice it has the highlights ASPX. And if I go to complete it, we have completed task ASPX. So our suggestion was, okay, let's copy these pages into this project portal site. And that way we will have the same functionality inside of the same site, instead of navigating between sites and navigating to move to different web application. Customers said yes. Uh, of course, another approach was just to create a JavaScript um, code to actually point to this URL, which is the current user. It, it will be the personal managed path and the actual current user. Okay. But the user said, no, I want in the left navigation menu, the quick launch, I want to have the my task link there. So let's do it. Of course, we will use SharePoint Designer in this particular example. And I want you to understand a little bit something. So if you open with SharePoint Designer, the my site here, in this case, H. Gonzalez, in the root site, you will see these pages, completed task, the all task, highlights, etc. So it's just a matter of copying these files to the actual project portal site collection. So I did that, but I noticed that when I actually used the page, I automatically redirected the page to the my site host. So looking at the code, there is a particular web server control here, this guy called personal space, red, space redirect. Of course, uh, just remove this guy here and now you will be able to access the page. The page, because this is an ASP.NET page, it ref references a, sp a specific set of assemblies related to the work management service application, which is the one that performs this kind of aggregation or consolidation of tasks. And then displays multiple web parts, like a timeline web part, a task list web part, etc. So it's very straightforward. I will just copy this code and create a local file with the same name. So I will save it as, in this case, it will be alt task dot ASPX, right? Because this is, the, is, is notepad, make sure to use the all file section here. Just save the file locally. I will replace it because I have it previously. And with SharePoint Designer, I will open my project portal site here project portal where it is here project portal 
So inside of the um, site pages, so here we navigate to the site pages, import the actual ASPX files that we created, the old task one here. So I will import this file, click OK, and now I have this guy here. So if I go back to my project portal site, and mm, let me do something here first. And navigate to my site pages here. Here we have our old task page. And if I click this guy, it actually loads all the my task that I have assigned. All right. So we are reusing the actual my site host web part that displayed the my task inside of a different site collection. So let's copy this URL and let's create a quick launch, new heading, paste the URL, paste the URL, sorry, and then my task. Hit OK. And basically, this is a requirement for my customer. When I go and click my task, I actually see all the tasks that I have assigned to me. And because I have this project portal side, well, I have the multiple list that I also have, all right? Now, if I click important and upcoming or completed, notice that it refers to the completed task ASPX, which I don't have, but you can use the same approach. Just close the file inside of your my site host, and then go to completed files, open the file in advanced mode, Make sure to remove this web server control, personal space redirect, copy the entire code, and then create a new ASPX file using our notepad. Um, here it is, completed task, that ASPX, that ASPX, save it, replace the existing one because I didn't have it here, and then it's important. So if I go back to my sites here, click Import Files, Add File, Complete a Task, hit OK. And now when I will go back to my site here, go to my task, and then if I click Complete it, it actually displays a completed task. All right. So let's do the same for the import, important and upcoming. Okay, instead of doing this, let me show you, this is a, it, it has a slight difference. Um, if we go to the highlight ASPX, you will notice here that this guy also has the personal space redirect web server control, but also here it uh, is referring to the actual portal personal H Gonzalez my site. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because as you can see here, this is a, SharePoint timeline web part. So that web part actually requires a URL. So we can leave it here, but to be completely separated from the actual my site, let's use sites projects. So now we have everything in order. Let's copy the code. Let's create a new file, paste it in Notepad, Save it as ASPX file. Sorry. Replace the existing one. And in, again, in my site, I will go to my import files, add files, highlights, click OK. Here we are. And now, if I go back to my task here, and then I click important and upcoming. It will display my timeline and all the features that I will ha that I have inside of my site. Now I have it in my other site collection project portal. Active and completed. If I let me show you here. If I go to active task and actually go to the project two and complete the project two, and then navigate to the actual list project two. Notice that it's also completed. Okay. Um, it is basically the work management service application working here, displaying consolidated view of all the tasks that I have assigned to me. Okay. Um, well, this is it.
Um, hope it helps. Thank you.